you know where you are. This is Nollywood Pictures TV. Mama, I'll see you later, okay? Uh, uh, are you not coming inside? No, there's something I need to take care of at the office. Don't let it bother you. He said he has um, something to do at the office. He couldn't see me at least. He said it's urgent. Mama? Is everything all right? It's nothing we cannot handle. What's up now? <laughs> Where is this girl? Uh, what's that her name again? Who's there? Uh, please bring my usual. What's up now? You sounded so worried on the phone. I think it's getting bad with your goods. I wish that was the case. Welcome, yeah, thank you. <laughs> well, if that isn't the case, then what is? Mama. Oh. Mama. How is she? You know this uh, mother case that I've been investigating of late, it's actually eating much of my time. I've not actually had time to come check on her. How's she doing? How about her? You just got back from the hospital. Okay. Mama has been diagnosed of kidney failure. What? Kidney failure? One of her kidneys is failing. My goodness. Mama needs a transplant in the next six months. If that is not done, I'm going to lose her. Oh, come on. It hasn't got onto that. It hasn't. Well, it has. I have to do it. And the doctor is saying that I have to do it immediately. That if I don't do it, I will lose Mama. I need 2.6 million naira for the surgery. And you know I don't have that kind of money right now. Especially now that things are not going well with me. Uh, I'm very sure the money will come. But well, first, let's think about how to get a donor. Well, according to the doctor, that's not a problem. I just need an excess of 5 million naira to buy the, the kidney from the donor. I honestly don't know what I'm, I'm supposed to do right now. Especially now that things are not well with me. Um, I'm going to be discussing this with my wife. Why? Why are you telling her? To see if I can donate to one of mine. No, come on. Steve, I cannot make you do that. You know the donor is often at risk more than a recipient. I know. But I mean, it's Mama we are talking about here. No, I cannot let you do this. I cannot let you take that kind of risk. Don't worry, we'll look for a way. I'll find a way. I will, I'll find a way. Please, don't do this. 
Don't worry about it, okay? Welcome, sir. Uh -huh. Welcome. Welcome. Thank you very much. Where's Stella? She went to the mall. Oh, okay. Did you tell her? No, I did not. I think you should be the one to tell her. So, come and sit. feel. I know you have so much on your head. Somehow we'll get over it. We can actually get a donor. After all, the the doctor said we can buy. And that's where we have a problem. That's where we have a major problem, Mama. I do not have anything close to that amount in my bank account. Custom seized my goods. And they are insisting that I must pay them 12 million naira before they release the goods to me. 12 what? 12 million. How much is the worth of the goods then? Well, the computers are worth over 120 million naira. So they are demanding that I give them 10%. And mama, you know how much I spent during the wedding? Yes, I know. My friends are still talking about it. Oh dear. What are we going to do now? I wish... I wish I knew, Mama. I just wish I knew what to do right now. Does Stella know about this? Is she aware? No, Mama. I don't want her to know about this. You know how emotional she can get. Very soon she will start blaming herself for insisting on a flamboyant wedding. And I don't want it to get to that point. I understand. Son, there is nothing God cannot do. Before you know it, He will take control. Just keep praying. I will be praying for you too. Okay? How are you? I'm fine. You're welcome. Thank you very much. Is there something to eat? Yes, but not my baby. Alright, please do so immediately. No matter how we upstairs. Once I freshen up, I'll come down to the kitchen. Okay. okay. Before you get down, we'll do it already. Please do a miracle for my son. Yeah, I did. Um, I just needed to catch some air. 
What's wrong? Mm -mm, mm -mm. Don't give me that look, baby. I still remember that the last time you took your work was when I was diagnosed of fibroid. So what is it this time? Nothing. It's mama. She's asking for grandchildren. No. What is it then? Hmm? Mama has been diagnosed of kidney failure. What? Yeah. Why, didn't, why didn't you tell me? How come I, I, I didn't even think? Like, these are, these are simple symptoms. The, the sleepless night, the, the fatigue, the restlessness. Oh, baby, I'm so, so sorry. It's okay. It's not your fault, okay? Well, the doctor said that she's going to need a transplant in the next six months. And uh, I offered to donate, but but I'm not a match. I I can't even I can't even donate. Because of the complications I had during my fibroid surgery. Babe, listen to me. I would not have let you donate your kidney for my mother. Come on, babe. She's mom, too. She's my mother. I wish I can. It's okay. But, but we, we, we can get a donor, right? Well, yes. Um, the doctor said that the kidney is going to cost 5 million naira. And um, it's also going to cost 2.6 million naira for the surgery. Oh, thank God at least we can, we can get a donor. That's fair enough. Like, the money is not something you can handle, yeah? Yes. I know. <laughs> I trust you, so he should be fast about it. Yeah, he, he told me he would, he would let me know once he finds a donor. Six months is not six years, so he had better do first. Babe. No, don't give up. Mama is going to be fine, okay? No, baby, no, no. Don't put your face down. I don't want you to give up. We're on this together. I got you always. You're my husband. Okay? Commissioner, please. All I'm asking for is just a couple of weeks. The computers are already in the country. I just need some time to, to, um, to bring it out of the customs. Yes, sir. Um, sir, <clears throat> I was thinking I can get an upfront, even if it's just 20% of the money that was agreed upon. Yes, I know we agreed on a 100% payment after delivery, but I am just going through some financial issues right now and I need to handle them. No, 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 it's okay. It's okay, I understand. I understand. It's okay. When I supply the goods, you, I'll get my money. No, 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 you don't have to do that. to get tired of all these should be things. Everybody just demands for exorbitant prices without even caring if their friends can afford it or not. 
Martha, how much is this of that? Babe, 200,000 naira is a lot of money. Just have a now. See, I don't blame you. You have a very wealthy husband who can afford anything. Me, I have nobody. Even that useless boyfriend I have takes from me rather than give. It's fine, it's fine. Don't go too far. Huh? I am... I am going to... talk to my husband and uh, make him pay for mine and yours. Are you serious? Of course I am serious. Oh. <laughs> I am very serious. You know I never joked about something like this. I trust you. Thank you so much. You're baby. welcome. Thank you. I'm very grateful. I know. <laughs> But babe, huh? this is your ring shine. Eh? See the way it's shining. I can't stop talking about this ring go. I know. I hear that. That's the reason my husband bought it. Huh? So it will be shiny, it will be glittering. You people will be poking, poking your eyes on it. Ah, be. Yes, see now. you. That pride will kill you. Please, please, please. Allow the singles like us to breathe. To breathe. As in, don't, don't, don't come and suffocate no, us, we can, I can't, I can't choke you. Don't worry. I, I believe very soon you're going to get married to a wealthy man. Amen. You Amen. deserve the best too. We deserve the best. As in, we have you know so now. far. <laughs> the sofa don't be here. For you, you are just enjoying our glory. I thank God for my husband. <sighs> Let me get going. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. I have something to do at home. <laughs> so take care of yourself, all right? It's fine. It's fine. See you some other time. Bye. Who are you ladies? Married to invade her. Mommy, we are not invading you. Know. It's just um, one of our university mates who is getting married very soon, and um, she added us in her WhatsApp group. And we couldn't decline because it's been long we saw her and um, communicated. So we see it as a reunion for us. Ah, that's good. Yes, ma'am. And mommy, mm -hmm. Joseph told me about your diagnosis. Don't worry, mommy. Everything is going to be fine in no time. How is your husband? Your son, you mean? <laughs> mommy, he is fine. And he's doing good. It's just that he's a little bit worried about your health condition. But I assured him that everything is going to be fine. Is that the only thing bothering him? My health? Yes. Mommy, why did you ask? I feel there's something else that is worrying him. Something that he does not want to share with anyone. He's just keeping it to himself. No, mommy. I don't think so. My husband isn't like that. We share everything together. He tells me everything. Mommy, he tells me the good, the bad, and the ugly. So, I don't think. I see. But still talk to him. You can't tell with men. <sighs> Alright, mommy. If that is going to make you feel better, I will I will talk with my husband. Thank you, my dear. Thank you, mommy. <laughs> Alright, let me go and see what is in there is doing in the kitchen. I'm coming.
doing? You've been chopping tomatoes since. And this girl, you want hunger to kill my mother in law? Tomorrow we'll forgive. Tomorrow they say that I've killed my, my husband's mother. Since, yeah, you've been on this particular tomato. I I am getting fat because I don't know the reason my wedding ring could be this tight on me so soon. Please, oh. me to leave. Come and stand here. I didn't say you should leave the kitchen. Watch me do it fast. Wash eggs for me. Did I wash all of them? Wash all. Chopping off tomatoes so you stay. Even your walk, walking in, raising your legs. You like it, right? Hmm. This is fresh and sweet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Sister, hmm? how fun now? I do. Sister, I'll be going back to school on Monday. Uh-uh. Wait, do. The holidays are over here already. Mm -hmm. <sighs> okay. So, how much is your school fees again? Okay, how much did we pay last semester? So, my school fees is 150,000 naira, and my rent has expired too. Okay. All right, that won't be a problem. I will. I will talk to my husband when he comes back. Okay. Thank you. Um no problem. Let me go and finish up. Enjoy yourself, okay? Okay, thank Bye. you. Mm. Rent money. So, don't worry. He already gave me the money. What? Yes, he did. But he surely does that through me. Well, maybe he did not want to disturb you this time. Stay. Take care of yourself, okay? Mama. Don't forget what I told you. Hmm? Yes, ma'am. Well, take care of yourself, ma'am. Very important. I uh, know. <laughs> Sister. Bye bye. Bye bye. May God be with you. Thank you, mama. When I'm with you, come back. Send my regards. Okay. Mommy. Hmm? Why would my husband give her? Money directly. Stella, don't bother yourself. Hmm? You bother so much. It's fine. Hmm. 